Hey everybody, this is Doug from Trigger King here again uh, with another uh, showcase here. This time we're going to talk about our sport modified trucks. So we started running the sport mods last year. Um, there's really not much difference in a mod the pro mod trucks that we run and the sport modified trucks, save for the electronics. Um, the sport mod trucks, you have to run a 17 turn brush motor. This keeps the truck slower. A um, little bit more scale and uh, sort of like an IROC series for us because all the trucks are running super tight with each other. It's also easier for some guys to control. If you get the Pro Mod trucks with the twin brushless setups, they can be a handful. These are easier to drive in general. So, about this truck, this is the uh, Missouri Wild Thing Axial SMT 10. Uh, this is actually Lonnie Childress's truck, which this is pretty cool because he drove the real Missouri Wild Thing. Um, so, he's here for our race today and he loaned us this truck to show off. You've got the J Concepts body on it. Um, there's, I guess there's not, there's a lot that's changed from this SMT10 uh, you might see. This actually started as a maximum destruction. So let's take the uh, body off here. All right. So what you've got here, um, this is a, a pretty common setup for the SMT10s. Now, these trucks are an interesting beast. Because stock, I know some of you guys, uh, or a lot of you guys have seen the video and how slow they are stock. They're not very fun as stock trucks. With a little modification though, these things are awesome. I mean, you can take a look here. Um, these have J Concepts Renegade tires and uh, tribute wheels. You've got, um, I believe this is an incision, the Vanquish uh, incision steering on it, an upgraded Savic servo. Um, the big thing here is to fit the wheelbase of the body. This is an RH Designs uh, short wheelbase kit. Now what this does is it takes the stock wheelbase, which is over 13 inches, and this actually puts it down to um, right around 12.5. So you can fit a lot of the popular bodies uh, that you'll see um, on the market. It can fit them pretty well. Um, it's got these really nice machine sway bars here. If you can get in there. Um, for electronics, uh, where almost all of us are running the, uh, the Radon, 17-turn um, brush motors, the Traxxas XL5 ESC, fairly cheap in the electronics um, there. It's not like a high-end brushless system. You can find everything for, if you get it used, you can get your whole electronics get up for this thing for, I don't know, 50 bucks or something, which is pretty nice. Um, we use ProMatch uh, batteries here in the back. 100C is our limit, so that's what he's running here. Um, he actually has uh, more droop in the rear to keep this one a little bit more scale to how they were. So our sport mod class, um, the idea of it is, as I mentioned, it's kind of like an IROC series, um, which is, you know, the trucks are kind of a little more spec. They're closer together. But it's to mimic the, the old days of the Penda series in the mid-90s. This is, um, you know, when monster trucks started to really fly. And so we try and keep it, we, we all of us kind of have a, a little agreement to try and keep the bodies looking like they're from that era. So you got your mid-90s and maybe up to the early 2000s uh, when they started Monster Jam before it got crazy. Um, so yeah, this is it's a lot of fun. The s 10 is a great platform to, uh, to use for it because it takes minimal modification. Uh, we do run clod busters also, uh, but that's going to be a whole separate video because the clods are a little bit different. Um, but they can run, you can run twin 17 turn setups, one at each axle. Both are really competitive with each other. Um, each race has a different winner. There's not one truck that's ahead of each other, but the SMT 10 is much simpler to set up. So if you're looking to do this type of class somewhere, you'd probably be better off uh, starting with one of these versus a modified clod buster just because they're simpler to work with. It doesn't say they're better, uh, but they're simpler to work with. So, all right, we'll see you next time.